So the next requirement, number three, is to set up your customers and your vendors. Everybody has to have different vendors and customers. Your requirement is to make sure that you select three customers that must be female personalities of your choosing, uh, and then vendors that are males, um, any male personalities that you select. And all the names must include your initials and a hyphen, uh, such as in this case. All right, so let's start with the customers. Let's go back to QuickBooks. Now, if you recall, QuickBooks is arranged in such a way that your books are organized by business cycles on the left or uh, uh, objects or agents in the plus sign. So let's go to my cell cycle and I can go to customers to set up my customers. And I could have set up my customers as I went along, but instead I will go ahead and uh, go ahead and create one at a time. So here's my customer. I can create a new customer by clicking in here. I could have imported them as well. Um, I want to know my location. So the company name will be, this is to this one. So if it's my customer would be a female. So I, of course, I'm going to choose Beyonce, right? Um, and I'm going to use my FP, Beyonce Knowles. I want it to be displayed as well. I don't need to have an address for her for purposes of the assignment, but I could have um, I could have done that, right? PO box, so so and so. Uh, it would have asked me for an email if I wanted to send emails to this particular vendor. I'm sorry, this particular customer. Uh, if you were tracking a credit line or anything else, you would set it up here. But for purposes of the assignment, all I need is to create that. So let me do that one. Um, I could create a new customer as well. Let me go back to sell customers and I am going to use, uh, uh, FB, uh, Taylor Swift. Oh, I don't even know how to spell Taylor Swift anymore. All right. And we don't need an address. So I'm just going to save that. And the new customer would be. Let's go ahead and do FB uh, Lempa, favorite German singer. And that's it. That's all I need to do for customers. So how about vendors then? For my vendors, I can go to my expense side, which is on my procurement cycle, and go to vendors and do the same thing for vendors. So remember that vendors are going to be male personalities of our choosing. So let's start with my initials and in this case your initials will be different for each one um so we could do names of presidents so let's start with donald trump which is our current president and one of the things that i want to make sure that i do is i want to track payments for 1099s and that is important unless you know that they are a corporation obviously this information would be uh, given to you once you give them a w nine to figure that out okay well, let me save that and let me create another vendor as well new vendor so let's go fb uh previous president was barack obama um i'm gonna go ahead and track the 1099 so that i can generate the reports at the end there's no opening balance uh as of today and that's fine um and then the next vendor will be uh To, um, and of course, you could have chosen any other male personality as well. And I think I misspelled that. All right. Thank you very much.